uh, usually this tends to happen in a large non-dominant hemispherical lesions but generally any large hemispherical lesion irrespective of whether it is dominant or non-dominant is going to result in weakness because of the involvement of the primary motor cortex. Coming to the neglect syndrome, uh, usually this tends to happen in a large non-dominant hemispherical lesions but generally any large hemispherical lesion irrespective of whether it is dominant or non-dominant is going to result in weakness because of the involvement of the primary motor cortex. It is going to result in uh, contralateral hemisensory loss that is because of involvement of the primary somatosensory cortex and it can result in visual field defects also because of involvement of the optic radiation fibers or occipital cortex itself which will result in contralateral homonymous hemianopia. And if you have a right hemispherical lesion of course the defects are going to be on the left side we know that. But apart from that large non-dominant hemispherical lesions can result in other peculiar features for say anastagnosia where the patient will be unaware of their own deficits. For example, patient may not be aware of the sensory deficits on the left side that's called as sensory anastagnosia and some patients may not be aware of the motor deficits on the left side that is called as motor anastagnosia and patients may not be aware of the visual field defects on the left side that's called as visual anastagnosia as well. There is a peculiar form of a complete form of visual anastagnosia that's called as Anton syndrome. We'll discuss that in neuroophthalmology where there will be a bilateral PCA Posterior bladder, in fact, in the hospital lobe will result uh, in complete blindness, but the patient will deny his or her own blindness. In the sense, patient will not be aware of their own blindness. So that is what we call as a complete visual anastagnosia, which is called as Anton syndrome. As I said, we are going to discuss that in neuroophthalmology section. And in extreme cases, patient can deny that their own extremities are not their own. And this is what we refer to as hemi asomatagnosia and can even find their own limbs quite repulsive, a subtle form of alien hand syndrome if you want to imagine so. And patients often lack complete awareness that the left, left side of the world exists in the sense men sometimes may shave only the right side of the face and they will ignore the left side of the face. There will be a lot of beard and moustache left on the left side and uh, some people may eat food only from the right side of the plate. This is a kind of extreme form of hemispatial neglect. And apart from this neglect syndrome, the right hemisphere has a very, very important role in language as well. Even though right hemispherical problems, non-dominant hemispherical problems will not result in a classic aphasia, but we all know that uh, right hemisphere does play a role in prosody. What is prosody? Interpreting the pitch, tone and volume of the speech that encodes emotional tone is what we refer to as prosody. Patients with damage to the right hemisphere, especially large right hemispherical lesions, can result in a flat monotonous voice, loss of prosody. Okay, the language may be there, but they will not have that emotional tone. So loss of prosody may be there. And like aphasias and motor deficits, there is a spectrum of neglect, which we are not going to discuss here. But we have three important quick bedside tests that is used to pick up uh, uh, hemispatial neglect in practice. The first one is line bisection test, second one is clock drawing test and the third one is letter cancellation test. First, let us see the line bisection test. Here the patient is asked to cross at the middle of the line but since the patient sees only the right side of the line and he ignores the left side of the line, he will draw a bisecting line somewhere that will be shifted towards the right side. So this will tell you that the patient is having contralateral hemispatial neglect on the left side. And second one is clock drawing test uh, where the patient will draw a clock with the numbers clustered towards the right side only. He will ignore the left side of the clock. So this will also tell you that the patient is having left side hemispatial neglect. And in letter cancellation test, you ask the patient to cancel out uh, a certain letter. In this situation, we have asked the patient to cancel out W. So you can see that the patient has ignored the entire left side and he has correctly cancelled W on the right side but there are a lot of W's that are left on the left side that is uncrossed. So this again tells you that the patient is having a left, it is contralateral, hemispatial neglect because of damage to the right parietal lobe. Now let us try and discuss on the apraxias 
Remember, apraxias are really difficult to understand, but let me try and simplify it. First, we need to know the anatomy of praxis. Praxis means practice in Latin. 